all across our region, people are thinking and talking about critical data as it relates to poverty in our region. The work of moving from awareness to action is important, and it's something that does not happen easily but can be very transformative. Let us remember that 14 months ago, we were in this room talking about an idea and being motivated by Dr. John Mieser's presentation. And in those 14 months, it was ideas from the room that led us to be able to create a DVD with this presentation and a discussion guide, train nearly 40 facilitators, lead over 60 presentations and dialogues that have been featured in media and that have been used in nonprofit organizations, strategic plans, and the Chesterfield Committee on the Future that is creating changes in behavior and ideas and identity. evaluation was, what is one thing you can personally do to address poverty in the metropolitan Richmond area? Here are some of the creative acts. Create job buses that go where the jobs are. Post discussions for women of Gilpin Court and Windsor Farms. Together, together, they're three and a half miles apart and worlds apart. Work with community gardens to address hunger. Pay a living wage to the people I employ. Build relationships with people from different backgrounds. Make the choice to get involved in the community. Make the choice to get involved in this issue. And last, ask, where are those who are not at the table? What happened was, sat in and listened to the dialogues, Dialogues moved from numbers on the screen to actually believing that people were ready. 38 percent of our people get up and go to bed. Um, that moved. I'm an enabler now, and it is a really good thing. It's very fulfilling to me, and I help people make a difference. I don't have any projects that I can say are my successes. I can, I can introduce you to people that are successes because they ask me one question and I introduce them to the person that can answer it. Everybody plays a role. You don't have to be a doer, but you could be an enabler. The first idea uh, is related to economic disparity, and we thought that it would be very important for folks to start and invest in entrepreneurial urban agricultural projects. Um, and the second was related to health and the idea to organize and participate in trauma healing and mental health services for um, disadvantaged communities. Personally, I would like to um, continue the dialogue about this and to also uh, make a personal effort to reach out to those in poverty to have them represented and to get some of their ideas uh, on this matter and to actually have them talk about this as opposed to being talked about, to, so to invite them to the conversation. I hope that when we make these presentations that you will be the community that advocates for these ideas and ideals to become practical reality. It's going to be very important that when these things hit uh, city councils and county boards of supervisors, that we have some people who will stand up and say, not only should these things be done, but these things must be done. Literally understanding the problem uh, and the nature of it, the background of it, the history of it, and the severity of it, it's really been an eye-opener. It is not a Richmond issue. It is not a specific county. It is truly a regional issue, and I, I feel very strongly about that. Immigrant communities tend to um, uh, focus on themselves alone because they are struggling to, quote, adjust, to survive. But people soon have to live 
to live, not to survive. I'm going to try to do something with the Korean American community uh, by gathering some people and uh, introducing some of these issues. I think what gives me hope is my observation that there is actual engagement. A variety of people are talking um, and a variety of people are talking in a seemingly trusted conversation. People are speaking frankly, both in the DVD rollouts, those sessions, and in today's session, they're difficult conversations, but people are willing to have them, and there's a variety of people of having them. I look around the room and I see tables, and it's not, there are no clusters of people at tables, there are communities of people at tables. Um, and that encourages me, because that's where change is going to happen, is when everyone is talking. As I talk with some of my residents and my neighbors that are in Gilbert, the lack of hope and the lack of access is a tremendous impediment. Like what um, Elle was saying, if she's an enabler, if we can really identify more people as a part of the puzzle process, it'll happen so much faster.